and welcome to your go market update for today wednesday the 19th of october mike smith senior analyst at go markets here to take you what's happening right now across financial markets let's just have a look at the news first of all of course stocks rallied for a second consecutive trading session overnight in the us after solely corporate earnings continue to come across in this early part of earnings season netflix reported after the bell and jump 14 percent in after hours trading quite a spectacular result there and that's obviously helped us futures which are trading very much to the upside at this stage asian indices are trading mildly higher following that positive us lead uh, asx is up around 0.4 percent with the energy sector underperforming again materials are also struggling a little bit at this stage european equity futures are pointing to a higher open as the positive sentiment continues for now US dollar index drops again. It's fairly flat in Asia this morning. Commodity-based currencies seem to be outperforming. So the Kiwi, Aussie and Canadian dollar are all looking relatively strong. Gold has held 16.50 again. Old is mildly weaker. And of course, copper was one of the stories overnight. We saw it test 3.40. It is actually below that, around 3.35 and at three-week lows. VIX has dropped to test 30, but it is trading around that level, which is still relatively high, of course. Bitcoin has moved very little, still remains over that 18,600 key support level, still range bound at this stage between that level and 20,000. A fairly active data day today, uh, particularly out of Europe. We're seeing inflation data coming out of the UK, Europe, and later on out of Canada. We've also got other numbers coming out of the UK, including industrial manufacturing production. Uh, US housing data comes out later. And of course, we've got continued earnings. We've got some big players today. We've got IBM and Procter & Gamble prior to market open and Tesla, the big headline name after hours. These are all likely to influence, undoubtedly, as we continue through earnings season, which is ramping up even more next week couple of charts that caught our eye this morning on the fx front we are looking at the aussie yen on the daily chart you can see there this yellow line that you can see is the 100 ema and you can see there uh, it's just breached this 94 level here which looks quite important on the daily chart one would suggest that this level if breached and you can see how important it is uh, been support here resistance here and of course resistance recently could see us push up in the medium term to test 95 that looks very much on the cards if we look at an hourly chart you can see there perhaps a, a breach of last night's high around about 94.40 would precipitate some buy-in pressure at this stage it's pretty neutral in asia on the ASX, we like the look of TWE, Treasury Wines Estates Limited. And you can see we've been waiting for that breach of $13. We got that this morning. And there is limited upside, perhaps, in this in the first instance of around about 3% or so. However, if we just pop it on the weekly chart for a moment and take it back, you'll see how important this level is. If we should breach that high that we hit in May... At that level there you can see how it was also support here and we could see a fairly significant move up on in the medium term perhaps so one to watch without a doubt but certainly today looking strong technically trade safe and we'll see you again soon bye bye for now